Rose here and welcome to Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we are doing a booty asana. So a flow focusing on um, our glutes. We're going to use a lot of kind of leg lift techniques from dance to start and then go into some lunges and squats. So some pretty typical body weight exercises to focus on our booty asanas. See what I'm saying? So that's going to be our focus today. We will of course warm up. So come to a seated position. Now you can either come to an ankle to knee pose if that feels best for you, or if you want to try tapping into the glutes a little bit more, you can come into this gomukhasana. So knees are stacked on top of each other. Uh, they don't necessarily have to be pressing. They can be a little bit up uh, lifted. You can put a pillow or a block, or again, be in that ankle to knee, or just a comfortable easy seat if that's gonna be best for you today. Just think about grounding into the earth with your sits bones sitting up tall, weaving long through the spine, long through the crown of the head, and then starting to activate your mula bandha breath. So inhaling in a 360 direction, um, so you're filling kind of your pelvic floor and lower abdominal area, that whole breathing diaphragm, and then exhale and lift the air in and out, exhaling through the nose. Inhale, exhale, and you can start to add some movement, a little bit of cat-cow, so kind of waving forward and then rounding back. Now we're not worried necessarily about stretching our legs, we're just letting them warm up naturally, but do wanna get some movement in our spine. Exhale. Very nice. Last one here. And now we'll switch sides. So of course, again, you can come into that ankle to knee pose if that's feeling good to you, or come into the full gomukhasana. And again, rounding into the earth with your sits bones, sitting up tall, and just starting to activate that mula bandha breath. And as you exhale, really think about making that big ujjayi sound. So you exhale, you're almost trying to fog up a mirror. You know, but your mouth is closed and you're exhaling through your nose. So you get that victorious sound or that ujjayi sound. Sometimes it's called the ocean breath. So inhaling and exhaling here and using that breath through the entire sequence. Again, you can place fingertips out to the side and start to wave forward. Get a little bit of a cat cow action. Rounding out the spine. You can even round more just into the shoulders if that feels better. So kind of play with that. And last one. Very nice. Now uncross your legs. You can put them out in front of you. Do a little windshield wiper action with the knees. Getting the legs warmed up just a bit more, and then from here we're gonna come into a hands and knees position. And we'll take just a moment to get a bit deeper into our cat cow. So inhale, really arch the spine here, and exhale as you lift up through your core, rounding out. Inhale here, exhale. Big, victorious, ujjayi breath. Getting our deep core muscles warmed up as we're doing this as well. And last one. Now from here, so here's where we're gonna do our leg lifts inspired by some uh, dance movements. So come onto your elbows. It gives you a bit more stability. You can interlace your fingers, have your hands kind of together, namaste, whatever's easiest for you. Wave your spine long, so extending tall through the crown of your head, and you're going to place your weight into your left knee. So you can have your toes tucked. Again, that'll help create a little bit of stability. And we're going to do what's called a fire hydrant. So your right leg is gonna stay at that 90 degree angle, but you're gonna open it up to the side like you're a dog peeing on a fire hydrant. <laughs> we'll just do 10 of those. So we're thinking about lifting from the glutes. Last one. Now keep your right leg lifted, keeping that 90 degree angle lift to the sky, so now you're kind of uh, 
um, parallel with your spine and just lift up. And really think about lifting all of the, these movements you want to have come from your glute muscle. Last one. Awesome. Bring it back down. Now extend your foot out long so you're on tiptoe on the right side and lift all the way up. Some subtle movements, getting those muscles. Doing 10 of each exercise. So last one this time, hold it. And you're going to keep it lifted, but open your hips just slightly to the right and do 10 tiny pulses here. bring it in. We're going to your chest for a moment, stretch it and step it back. You can take a moment in child's pose, extend your arms. And come back into your hands and knees position. Notice all of the strength you've already <laughs> built on that right side. And we'll do it all again on the left. So weight is in the right knee and right toes. Left knee lifts. You come to that 90 degree angle for the fire hydrant here. And making sure that the lift, you really want the movement coming from your glute muscles. Last one, keeping the 90 degrees. Leg lifts up, you can even look behind you. Make sure you're not winging it out or anything and just lift up. A lot of stability coming from your core as well while we're doing this. Last one. Awesome. Extend the foot out and lift all the way up now. Remembering your breath here. You can breathe a little bit faster if you need, if that helps with the movement. Last time, hold it up. Rotate your hips just a bit open to the left and tiny pulses. Very nice. Exhale. Lift the knee into your chest. Take a moment to stretch and come out into your child's pose. Well earned break here. Now from here we're going to come back into our hands and knees and go back to down dog. So strong fingertips, strong palms, tuck your toes, exhale, press yourself back, start to pedal out your feet, stretching out the backs of your legs here. And then from here, slight bend in your knees and elbows waves you forward to plank. Come onto your knees, lower with your chaturanga with healthy shoulder alignment. Inhale here, prepare. Roll yourself in and up to a cobra. You can come to a higher cobra. You can do a lower cobra if that feels better. And then exhale. Either come through pointed plank or go through your knees back to down dog. Nice. Now from here, you're going to slight bending the knees and elbows again. This time right leg lifts and exhale. Really lift that knee in and up, creating space and step it forward. Right foot to right thumb. Inhale here, prepare a long spine. Bend your back knee, really ground into the earth with your feet. And lift yourself all the way in and up to a high lunge. Now from here, we do some fists of fire lunges. So inhale, reach up, and exhale. Bend your back knee, taking your fists to your low belly in your lunge. Inhale, lift up. Exhale. Nice, slow, controlled movement here. Last one. Now from here, lean yourself forward, really ground into the earth with your right foot, and step your left foot up towards your right, so your feet are about hip bone distance here, in your chair pose. So think about really sitting back into your heels. From here, you're going to do a little bit of a chair squat. So you're going to sit low, sit really low, and come to stand. Sit really low, so lower than you would normally in chair. And stand. Two more here. 
and really think about lifting up from your glutes and you're really pressing into your heels, activating all the backs of your legs. Now from here, just coming back into your chair, really lifting in and up from the right foot, left knee lifts into your chest. Step it back to your high lunge. Ooh, I didn't tell you there'd be a balance challenge here, did I? <laughs> and then we'll do those fists of fire lunges, but taking it a bit deeper if you want. So you can do it like how we did before, or extend both legs, reach all the way up, and exhale, tap the back knee to the earth. Inhale up, exhale. Very nice, keeping your breath going through this, it is not easy. And last one, very nice, inhale, lean forward, exhale, plant your hands to the earth, right leg steps back to downward facing dog. We're in a resting pose, we get a rest, but only for a moment, let's move that energy through our whole body, so bend your knees and elbows, way forward to plank, come on to your knees, lowering through chaturanga, inhale here, prepare, weave in and up, and exhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Very nice, taking that moment to pedal out your feet can feel really good. You can even take a lion's breath here and inhale and exhale, stick out your tongue. <sighs> Big sigh that activates the top of your deep core line, so feels good and also activating all your deep core muscles. Now inhale here, let's try all of that on the other side. Left leg lifts high, exhale, really lifting in and up. Just step your left foot to the left thumb. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Bend your back knee and roll yourself in and up to your high lunge. We're gonna take our first variation of fists of fire lunges. So inhale here, exhale, just bending the back knee. Inhale up. We've got our strong fists. Mudra here of our core strength and empowerment. Now lean yourself forward, really ground into the earth with the left foot. Step right foot up to chair. We're gonna add a little bit of a twist onto this one. So sit really far back. And this time as you lift up, come through fists of fire to low belly and go onto your tiptoes. A little, little added challenge. Sitting really far back. Getting our whole legs involved in this. And again, controlled movement here. We don't want to use momentum. We want to use our muscles for strength. Last one. Very nice, come back to chair. Ooh, so fiery. <laughs> really ground into the earth with your left foot here, lift. In and up, that right knee comes to chest, or comes to your core, and then steps back to your high lunge, a nice controlled movement there as well. Inhale if you want to take variation two for the fist of fire lunges, or stick with variation one. You can lift up, extend to the sky, and exhale, tap the right knee to the floor. And if you're too far back, feel free to step that back foot forward just a bit. Last one here, tap the earth, inhale, lift up, exhale, hands plant to the earth, step back to downward facing dog. We'll do one more vinyasa to move all of that energy through our body and our spine, so wave yourself forward to plank, lower to the earth. Inhale here, prepare, come up to your cobra. If you're feeling really warm, you can even come into up dog. Back to down dog. Very nice, and from here, just come onto your knees. Sit back into a well-deserved child's pose. You can rock back and forth. You can even moonwalk your hands to one side or the other, start to stretch out those muscles we just worked so much. From here, coming back into a seated position. Now you can take 
an ankle to knee stretch, that can feel really good. Or Domukhasana, like we did earlier, ground to the earth with your sits bones. And this time, wave back and forth, starting to feel the stretch. Again, stretching out the muscles we just worked so much. And from here, whichever leg position you're in, you can walk to one side, walk to the other, taking a moment to pause wherever you're feeling the nice juicy stretch. This waving movement will help soothe your body into stretching instead of just yanking to what you think is your deepest stretch. You just kind of ease into the movement. And then switch sides. Again, ankle to knee can be a really great stretch here or coming into the Gomukhasana, depending on what feels better for you today. You can even try a little bit of both. Hit pause, it's your yoga practice. And just taking time to move, using this movement to find the areas of stretch that feel good to you today. From here, coming back up to sit. Now making your way onto the mat. You can hug your knees into your chest. Circle them one way and the other. You can even windshield wiper your legs here. That always feels good. Your body does like this reset. Yogi's choice if you have any other areas where you're feeling like you need to stretch, hit pause, take a couple of moments, stretch that out, and then whenever you're ready, come into your final resting, your Shavasana, just sink into the mat. Think about all of that strength that you just built from that short uh, flow. Hopefully you enjoyed it and you can take all of that strength and power and walk it around with you all day. So. Look forward to seeing you on the mat again here soon. Of course, be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel so you get notifications for the new videos. And I have exclusive content for you on the League of Nerdy Yogi's email list. So sign up there below, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Namaste.